Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Vomit, Invoker of the Past on Head Split Records. This is some awesome, awesome death thrash. I've been playing this pretty much all night. I got fucking broke off a little bit yesterday, but I'm good. Just shoulders fucking killing me, knees killing me, and some glass got me pretty good. But that's the weird thing. Like, it's just a tiny cut, but tiny cuts hurt, in my opinion, a million times worse than, like, getting hit by a car. Because, like, you have that shock of, like, oh, fuck, like, I actually got hit by a car. Where, like, where something small that cuts you, it's like, ah, like, god damn it. But... We got a nice little package courtesy of Disguster at Head Split Records. Now, if you know Disguster's real name, I'm not going to say it, but we have a nice little letter. Adam, Peter from Vomit wanted me to send a tape for review. Damakali's tape from me for review. Disguster666. Now... Real quick, this collection of demos right here is so fucking good. Grab a copy from Head Split before they sell out, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna review this sometime this week. But as of right now, I'm reviewing something else. But seriously, both of these releases, get them before they are sold the fuck out. Because they're both absolutely amazing. And this is like 1986 demo stuff. And it's like, oh my goodness, so good. But this right here is something special. Like seriously, it's one of those releases that you just, it's like, wow. Not only is it refreshing as fuck. Like seriously, more bands need to fucking sound like this. Vomit, Invoker of the Past. This is totally up my alley and hails Peter and fucking Di <laughs> Disguster 666. I keep wanting to say Digester, but I think that's the guy from Ghoul. I'm sorry, but today, thanks to John Randall, Extremely Rotten Productions, and MSUO, we have Koin. Festering Excarnation, which features both demos, Where Gods Excarnate, and Festering Carsneeth. I know I mispronounced that, but I apologize. But I know I've gone over Where Gods Excarnate multiple times, like... In 2018, when this first came out, it was, you know, one of my favorite demos of the year. It, it still is one of my favorite demo tapes I own. Even though I have the demo comp, like, just the hard shell, the whole design of the original demo, I just think is like, just, I don't know, it's way sicker. And I love the original logo, but... Having both demos in one place is fucking awesome. I just was not expect. I thought this was going to be on a hard shell, but it's still fucking... It sounds good, especially where God's Excarnate. But where God's Excarnate, as I've said before, it's just one of those demos that's perfectly encapsulating that Kill Town death metal sound. Like, if you're a fan of Frenolith, Undegang, like, you know what you're getting yourself into. It's fucking killer, killer, filthy, rotten death metal. And I love it. And that is where God's excarnate. Like, I don't really know what else to say about it except for it's awesome to have it, you know, all on one place on this comp. MSUO did the vinyl, Extremely Rotten did the cassette. And we're going to be talking about demo number two, which dropped in 2019. 
Festering Karsniov. I think that's how you pronounce it, so I apologize. You know I fucking suck at pronouncing shit, but like, you know, whatever. But you get three tracks of total putrefaction. It's fucking so sick and KO and definitely channeled more of their inner morbid angel on this demo, more so than their Kill Town counterparts on Where God's Excarnate. And I think that's fucking sick. Cause it just it adds this extra dynamic to the tunes and whatnot. And the production is a lot different. Like where God's Excarnate is very, very like crispy and just it, it, it's very clean, but at the same time, it, it's real nasty when it comes to the riffs, the vocals, everything. But Fester and Karsnioff, like, it's kind of a little bit dirtier of a recording, but it's very, very fitting for a demo of this caliber. Like, it's not meant to be fucking perfect. It's a demo tape. That's something a lot of people don't really understand. Like, I see some people, though, like, if you're getting a demo that's on vinyl, it should sound a little bit crispier than, you know, the original version. Case in point, I never listened to this. Why? Because, honestly... I think this sounds a million times better. I don't know why, I don't know if it's because this came in pretty much a pizza box, and I just had to fight the record label to get a copy of this. Like, it took months and months and months. It was one of those situations, and I love Fetid. Like, absolutely, I mean, come on. I have three copies of their fucking new record. Like, I obviously love this band. Like, but they had nothing to do with, you know, the lies and whatnot that were being told through the record label that did the demo. It was one of those situations where, oh, I'm going to ship it on Monday. Monday comes. Hey, did you end up shipping, you know, those orders? Oh, no, 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 I'll get to the post office later today. And, like, this went on for about five months. And then people started hitting the guy with PayPal disputes. And then, next thing you know, the record comes and, like, it's, like, legit, like, in a pizza box. Like, seriously. I know I'm, I should be talking about this Kaoten bad boy, but, like, real quick. Again, though, it's just a demo, so I kind of understand, but then you look at, you know, for example, a Maggot Stomp demo LP, and I'll show you in a second why something like this, and I really wish I had the LP version of this to show you, but it is coming in the future, that's all I know, but... I was like, oh, cool, like, you know, this is fucking sick, like, it has an extra promo photo I'd never seen before, and then I was like, oh, wait, there's no, like, you know, notes or anything, like, it doesn't even say that it was recorded at the secret underground bunker, but, like, again, the only other real cool thing was a little bit of extra artwork, but... Like, look at this thing, though. Stuff like that, like, it's just kind of a bummer. Like, it's all, you know. But it's cool to see the artwork, like, super big and whatnot. I just kind of wish, like, you have two different covers for this record. You have the Extremely Rotten Productions version, which I feel is, like the definitive version of Sentient Pile of Anamorphous Rot, like, with the torso hanging from the hooks. It's just fucking badass. Like, I, I always loved it. My buddy has a copy of it, and I'm always jealous whenever I see it. I'm like, God damn it. 
I should have snagged that when I did when it came out, but I had the head split version since day one, so you know it is what it is. But like again, like really, really nice cosmetics on the tape, promo photo. And it tells you where it was recorded at the underground base somewhere. And it's fucking cool. Like, I, I love that type of stuff. Like, little details. But it's missing on the LP version of it. And it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. But now, let's... Real quick, look at a Maggot Stomp demo tape. And... LP version. Now, very, very nice pro tape. Nice logo, nice cosmetics. Everything goes with Frozen Souls color scheme. And then, Chad was awesome enough for my birthday. They played a show the day after my birthday, but he gave me a birthday present with a Frozen Soul t-shirt and encased in ice on vinyl. Cause like, I understand when you're a band on tour, especially from Texas, you need to make your money. But like, a four song, technically three song, three original songs and a cover song, LP for $25 is kind of a lot of money. But I completely understand, and if I would have had money, I would have bought one. But Chad was rad enough to throw me a copy. But look, you get a lyric sheet, a big version of the promo photo, and it's fucking sick. But also, something that makes it stand out even more from the bunch, the etching on the B-side, because Maggot Stomp was rad enough to put all four songs on one side of the LP, while the B-side is an etching with the Stop the Week shit fucking logo, which is badass. But it's so fucking good, 45 RPMs of Texan death metal, like, it's just, to me, that's how you do a demo LP justice. And, you know, this could have been a 7-inch, 100%. But it's rad that they went, you know, the extra fucking 10 yards and made a 12-inch out of it. So fucking hails to Maggot Stomp and hails and congratulations to Frozen Salt for being picked up by Century Media Records. I think that's fucking awesome. And they're recording a music video, I think, as we speak. Or they might have just finished the music video, I'm not really sure. But, Festering Karsnieth. Why is this demo not as gnarly as Where God's Excarnate? Maybe that's because Where God's Excarnate was, you know, my introduction to Kaoten. And it just, you know, absolutely hit the fucking spot. Like, this was the demo everybody was after. And when the second demo dropped, it was like a fucking gold rush. Like, everybody just went right to it. And understandably so. Completely understandable. Like, it's awesome, but it's just not as gnarly as Where God's Excarnate. Like, this is... One of those death metal demos that's up there with like Mortiferum's Altar of Decay, Fetid Sentient Pile of Anamorphous Rot, Cerebral Rot, Cessation of Life. It's one of those like modern, amazing death metal demos. And Kaoten just, you know, as a band definitely grew. But at the same time, when it came to this recording, it's a little different production wise and that's about it outside of a lot more morbid angel influence which is fucking cool I, I really really enjoy it and this whole comp is super enjoyable because you get where God's excarnate 
on side A, and then on side B, you have Fester and Karsnia. So it's a fucking win-win situation here. And the name of the demo comp is Fex Festering Excarnation, which is a great title, and I feel like it's something extremely rotten, and MSUO do a lot. Like, again, I'm sorry. Of course it's not gonna be where it, oh, here it is. I was gonna say, but, like, Worm Ridden, Festering Grave, like, it's a combination of infesting the grave and festering glorification. Like, that's fucking awesome. I have both seven inches, but, you know, it's again, it's one of those things. Like, this sounds so good on cassette, and I miss the cassette version of this. But it's great to have on fucking vinyl. It's also my only glow-in-the-dark LP I have which is fucking badass, and it doesn't sound bad. I know people are like, oh, dude, fuck glow-in-the-dark vinyl. I guess it just depends who presses it, because there's not a goddamn thing wrong with that. It's absolutely crushing. But I love the J-card here. You have both the original covers and whatnot, and you can tell, like, Kaoten changed their logo up. And Dave, as always, did a great job. David Milkinson of Undergang and a million other bands. But he does art under the name Ink Lesions. I'm not sure if he still does it under the name Ink Lesions. But he does a great job when it comes to art and whatnot. And if you look at the cover for Fester and Karsnith, like, it's just fucking awesome. It's like a monolith of just like sentient fucking beings all just molded together and shit where where God's excarnate is just, you know, fucking skulls and the death is real. It's badass. And every track on here, all six of them on the demo comp, it, it just goes to show that Kaoten are definitely ready for a full length to blow your fucking socks off. And I love the cover of this demo comp. I can't wait to have it on 12 inches. Like, seriously. Like, it's one of those things, like... Jesus was like, it doesn't have a poster. I was like, I really don't have room, dude. It's no big deal, trust me. Like, I just... I really, really love the cover art. And it's just very monolithic and just huge... And it goes to show, like, Kaoten is a band not to fuck with. And when it comes to demo bands, I feel like they're one of the strongest in extreme music right now. And this right here proves my point, I think. But again, it's all a matter of opinion. And Festering Excarnations, one of those comps that, you know, it's fucking killer. It's all killer, no filler. If you're a fan of filthy, rotten, heavy death metal from Kill Town, then you absolutely need a copy of this on vinyl or cassette. Extremely Rotten did the vinyl. MSUO did the cassette. I do not know if Dark Descent did the CD, but if anybody did, it's going to be Dark Descent Records. So keep that in mind. I'm, I'm, I'm not positive, but... If this does get a CD release, it's more than likely going to be through Dark Descent Records. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But I'm 100% sure, like I said, if you like your death metal, filthy, heavy, rotten, and full of killer, killer riffs. K.O.N. Festering Excarnation has your name written all over it. But if I had to choose which demo I liked more, I'm going with demo number one, 2018's, where God's excarnate. It's just so fucking good. I don't know if there's a promo photo in here, because I wanted to show you. Nah, sorry. But this is fucking badass. Where God's excarnate, demo number one. Recorded by Tuna in May 2018. 
Fucking, I love hard shells, man. Especially the extremely rotten ones where, like, the logo goes down where usually, you know, there'd be that, like, little tape slit. And, like, head split, as always, kill it when it comes to tape cosmetics. Look at this fucking thing. Like, this is for, uh, Damn Calis. Like, holy shit. So badass. Angel of Evil. And Rites of Death. This is a killer comp as well. But we were blasting Head Split Records Vomit Invoker of the Past. Absolutely Grade A Death Thrash on Head Split Records. Get a copy of this before it is sold the fuck out. But. When it comes to Kaoten, Festering, Excarnation, it's definitely some essential Kill Town death metal. On Extremely Rotten and Misako Anunjo Records, awesome, awesome stuff. And I have to thank John Randall, Jesus at MSUO, and Disguster at Head Split Records, all you fucking rule, and you rule at home for watching this. You know, stay safe out there, but still have fun, and as always, summer's here, it's hot as fuck, so stay hydrated, stay awesome, and as always, thanks for watching. Hells.